What is up? It is Zane here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Astra synth, so let's just go. What a trash first preset, but not gonna lie guys, when I was scrolling through on Splice, Astra had some of the best sounds that I ever heard. So I have to get to the bottom of this, how is it possible, and is it even as good as we think? So far, it's a very wide range of the sounds that we're getting. Some of them are beautiful. Hey, a lot of these have very nice arps, also. I'll give it that because we have this big note sequencer. It's one of the largest features on the screen, so I'm gonna think that it's pretty important. We got macros here so we can edit something. Oh, we'll wash it out real quick. And it's different for each preset, kind of like Serum. I like going crazy with everything though. Here are our oscillators, so we can change it to an FM sound, granular sample, a regular sampler, a wavetable, so we have a ton of different options here. My favorite, like, bass would probably be a wavetable because it'll give us a lot of customization, but the granular sounds are gonna be fucking beautiful because you know how the granulation effect goes. We even got some haunted sounds and some very nice atmospheres. Look at where we are in the octaves though, it might be my bad. I downloaded some on the internet so let's just test these out. So this one's quite beautiful. I want to make it faster. We can turn the rate up. Let's make it 148. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we have like an entire mod matrix. It looks like there's only one page to this plugin is something that I like because I hate having to like lose everything when I click a button. The more you have to click to edit, the worse it is, and that includes scrolling through pages. So as you can hear, the granulizer is kind of doing its thing. So we can reset, invert, not too sure. This one's on, let's go granular for this. I want to edit the granular settings so we can change the spread. We can just draw whatever patterns that we want, which is nice. We have LFOs down here, but to me, this ARP thing is like basically another LFO because you can just like program it. And it's moving with the LFO, as you can see with this bright dot. And when we're editing the LFO settings, you can see the speed on this changes and stuff. You can literally just drag it like that and boom, we're connected. And then you can right click and assign it or clear it. Why is it disappointing me? So these attack and decays are how we're gonna edit. So if you wanna make it a pad or if you wanna make it a plug or whatever the heck. We got a filter here. So this is like a literal filter. I drags. I'm gonna right click the cutoff and we can just assign it to like a macro or something. Turn the LFO on. Made a mega base. How can I make it to the fattest thing we've ever heard? Down in this top bottom right corner we have the effects, so we can make it more insane. Granular reverb, that's what I really wanted to test here. Max it out, you just get washed out noise, but put it down. Put it on forward. You make some very atmospheric sounds. You might drop your CPU to the ground, but it's worth it. There's a distinct grit with a lot of these presets coming out of Astra. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Alright, I discovered the secret. I discovered how you can get any sample inside of here. Finally, find one of the Astra presets you downloaded, click on the three dots, show in the folder, and just go to the Astra main tab, click on wavetables, and this is the key, okay? You can't just put the wave files in like this, you gotta make a new folder. So make your folder and then just drag all the samples in there, and then just restart your Astra. And now everything is loaded in. So the new mega secret, okay, so if you click the randomize up here, it randomizes everything about the preset, basically. And then when you click on it with like the other smaller tabs, it just 
we'll randomize the things inside. This little percentage tab right here adjusts how crazy the random will go, so higher up it'll just redo it. everything about the preset, but lower it, it's just very minimal. I want to make the craziest funk sound ever though, so we got our granulizer and our sampler. We gotta make sure they're both enabled. Everything feeds into each other from left to right, so you gotta take that into account. Holy shit. It's way too deadly. Enjoy this weird new wave type beat that I made. I don't know guys, I'm feeling good about life, but I'm still feeling like an absolute worthless failure. Like, I need to change something up quick. Hey. Shit is super dirty though. New wave funk alert. But yeah. I want you guys to be successful, so please never give up, chase your dreams no matter what. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.